Okay, we've got a new design up. Uh, this one is for a potential microgreen greenhouse that I need here. Uh, I did uh, a tutorial on building tunnels, um, and I'll pop a link up on the uh, description somewhere like that to so you can go on and have a look at that. But basically, what it was saying was there's two ways of doing tunnels. Uh, one is if you look at the um, vert the, the straight lines. They go a lot. They go along the greenhouse like this, in this design, and they go r around the top, like this, in the other design. Now uh, this design's based on um, can the Canary Wharf Network Rail Station. Uh, I can get that up for you on Wikipedia, so you can see what that one looks like. Uh, you can see that it's made of triangles, um, but it has this outward sticking um, top. It, get, it goes further out as you go up. This is because obviously the, the uh, triangles haven't been cut in any way. They're just uh, na naturally going, leaning out towards the top. Uh, I'll show you another view of that. There you can see that uh, all the triangles are full triangles and we're basically dissecting it along this line here. That's the end of the greenhouse. Uh, you can see on the network rail uh, building that it's made from those inflatable panels like the Eden Project and that it's much uh, deeper than it. It's not a half sphere, uh, uh, like a half circle. It's way deeper. Uh, I might try and get down and get a look at it. Uh, and take some better pictures and some better video if I give it, get a chance because uh, it's an interesting structure um, and that was basically the idea but behind uh, this new microgreen greenhouse if we take a look uh, in a bit more detail you can see the peak at the top which I think looks nice uh, the triangular, triangulated structure will look um, better now this one has um, a riser wall on it, uh, but what I, what I need is the maximum amount of microgreens uh, in the minimum amount of space. So the next uh, design development was this version here, which has got a, a straight wall at one side. Now this straight wall would have shelving on it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, possibly six shelves with a single row of uh, microgreen flats. So, if you can imagine that, that initially it was going to come out here, you wouldn't get that on a table. You wouldn't get six rows on a table to fit in uh, in the greenhouse. So, I think it's I think at this stage it's probably more efficient to. Uh, have one flat side. It doesn't ruin the look of it, but I don't quite like it as uh, as much as the other one. We've also lowered it so it has a shorter riser wall, and this would be just probably a beam. Uh, the general idea is that this is south, this direction here, roughly. Uh, the, the the sun at look it, that'd be about midday, south in March or February. Um, so you get as much light in as possible. Now, uh, I might do plans for this one. Um, let me know in the comments if you want me to do plans for this one or if you'd be in at all interested. This has uh, one triangle frame. Uh, it's an equilateral on this one. If we go back to the um, network rail building, uh, this is not an equilateral triangle. It's uh, it's difficult to tell in this one. I might, I might have a look at the other one. Yeah, it's easier to tell in this one. It's it's longer on the bottom. You've got two short sides and a long bottom. So it's effectively oh, stretched the building. Uh, let me just do that with this. So you can get now. This is all equilateral, but the actual network rail building is uh, stretched a bit. Let's go down and get this stretched. There we go. It's more like that. You can see how it looks more like it there now. And I'll uh, deselect that so you can see it properly. 
there that that looks more like the um actual network rail building it's uh, longer on the bottom and the size of the same i'll just give you a better look at that there now but i prefer let me just undo that i prefer the equilateral uh, triangles because you have one triangle all the edges are the same so it doesn't really matter which way around the, the triangle you get um, but obviously it's a fairly simple structure to build one triangle in the whole lot the ends I haven't finished designing yet but there'll be something along this line where we have a, a curved section at the front um, rather than just a straight a straight door section like a polytunnel the general idea is that this would be um, better at snow loads but it's it's more about looks and um, strength strength and looks really is the two benefits of this over a standard polytunnel uh, if you're going to go for a polytunnel it's cheap but they look horrible you know they look really um, allotmenty in that and if you've got a garden center or a business that has um, some you know a uh, decent brand and you want a decent looking building because it's obviously people um, then associate the quality of your produce by the quality of the buildings that you use let's go back to the um, what I'll call the second one that's the first one that one um, yeah let's have a look uh, I still haven't worked out if the shelving doing straight shelving bear in mind what will the shadows here show you where south is facing if that's going to be more efficient than the first one first one's like this rather than having a table across here you would you would never get six in you've got to get six rows of micro gains here across here six rows because you can stack six rows in uh, from here and obviously you're reducing the number of uh, triangles let me just work out what the triangle number is in this one this is the original view I like this one better but you've got to look at practicality sometimes uh, let's go window entity info and we just select one of these because these are a component it tells you how many there are uh, well it should do yeah 201 in this model let's go back to the uh, other one and this one will do the same entity just click one and it'll tell us how many they are 136 so 70 triangles less than this one so we've got 70 triangles less to make it has this flat edge but honestly uh, this the, the domes here uh, there's some trees at this side. I don't think the um, cutting this edge off is going to make that much of a difference to the look of it. Because I, I honestly think that uh, look is important when you're trying to um, make your buildings uh, look, you know, not like they were thrown up. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you like it, don't like it. If you like plans, uh, let me to make plans. There's a good chance that this will be um, made this year, um, so uh, like and subscribe if you want to see how I get on with this design. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.